For new teachers, the idea of building a classroom community at the start of the school year can be daunting, but a few key strategies can set you up for success by putting student voice and choice at the center. You can foster confidence, increase engagement, and provide a nurturing environment for both you and your students that will last the whole year long. The layout of your classroom can communicate more than you realize, from power dynamics to social values. What message does your room send when students first walk in? As the new school year begins, invite your students to help design the look of the classroom. Encourage a collaborative environment and peer discussions with table groups or a circular seating chart, as opposed to desks that only face the teacher. Decorate the classroom with student artwork and signage that includes their home languages. Having a setting that reflects them allows students to feel represented and at ease. A baseline on class protocols gives students stability and a better understanding of what's expected of them in the classroom. Together, you can decide the rules and regulations of your day-to-day -day conduct, giving each child the opportunity to voice their opinion. Involving students in the creation of the class's social contract will not only help them feel empowered, but also encourage community and accountability amongst their peers. Once the contract is drafted with everyone's input, have students sign and agree to abide by these shared classroom rules. Hang the contract in an area where everyone can see it to be a gentle reminder of their rights and responsibilities. While collaboration and participation are key elements of classroom culture, giving students time and space alone is an important part of helping them recharge. Create a Peace Corner, a designated area for self-reflection and meditation on one's thoughts and emotions. If a student feels overwhelmed, dysregulated, or is in need of solitude, they can go to the Peace Corner to calm themselves and regain clarity. Remember, a peaceful place is a positive area for reflection, rather than disciplinary action, such as a timeout. Creating routines for discussions in the classroom gives students the opportunity to voice their opinions in a respectful manner and learn what is acceptable and expected of them during conversations. Exercises like morning meetings give each student a chance to speak and encourage active listening. Let students talk about how they're feeling, or you can start things off with a themed question. Making this a daily practice will build a level of comfort that can get even your least talkative students involved. For older students, Socratic circles are another way to build engagement and encourage participation. Give students a topic to discuss. Encourage respectful disagreement where students can share their opinions without fear of being interrupted or chastised, but with the knowledge that others may have opposing beliefs. Putting students' voices first by sharing the floor as often as you can will open up space for them to empower themselves and one another. <laughs>